Alright everyone, how's it going? Just get ready for this because Giancarlo is a jerk and I hate him. I'm just kidding, Giancarlo is a friend of mine. Uh, we mess around with each other and I ended up playing him round 3 and he's got a very interesting team with Apalkia and I am honestly really worried. So I kind of, okay, so I, when I saw his team I thought, you know, it's maybe it's Trick Room Palkia, maybe it's... I don't know. I really don't know. But I, I thought he might lead the Palkia. Maybe try and get up Trick Room. Or to, like, reverse my Trick Room. And, you know, Salamence is a decent lead for him. So he leads Salamence Palkia. Which is, you know, nice. Um, I saw the Cherish Ball on the Palkia. So... Oh, no, sorry. Not Cherish Ball. Um, so, actually, here... The, uh... The, I believe the Pressure... Was that Pressure? I, I'm because I I'm yeah no I I thought it was pressure for whatever reason but it actually it, it did come out in cherish ball so it's actually a modest pocky I'm pretty sure maybe it's timid I don't even know the point is I'm worried about it I'm really worried about you know trick room pocky is a problem for me uh, but also max speed life or pocky is a problem for me so I think here I just decide you know I thought the Salamence might either protect or just you know double edge the Kangaskhan or something um, I really wasn't worried about it. I was really worried about the Palkia. I want to get rid of the Palkia. Because the Palkia can do a lot of damage to, bo to both my Primals, so I want to get rid of it. So I decided to just fake out the Palkia, and I believe go for a Trick Room. I think that's what I did. And so he's Mega Evolving his Salamence, which is nifty. It's a good thing to do if you have a Salamence. I would say, you know, Mega Evolve it. I mean, the arms get tucked in for whatever reason. You have a giant Flying Croissant. It's cool, but... My Kangaskhan Mega Ball, second, which reveals nothing to him about my speed because, you know, I have a slow Kangaskhan. And, and here's the thing I love about Kangaskhan. If, like, I'm running a, a slower, bulky Kangaskhan, adamant, and because most of the time I pretty much always uh, fake out first turn, people don't know anything about my speed. And then when I set up Trick Room, they assume, oh, you know, now I'm going to outspeed the Kangaskhan. And then I underspeed and hit him with a super, super hard double edge and it catches a lot of people off guard. So I go for that trick room, and here, you know, I'm not really sure what to expect, but I figure, you know what, Palkia didn't protect, it had to have a good reason for not protecting, let me just double edge into the Palkia, I know I'm intimidated, but it still do a lot of damage, and I think I just gyro ball into the, um, the Salamence, or no, or no, or maybe, maybe I set up Gravity. Yeah, I think I set up Gravity and then Double Edge into the Palkia. Really just hoping that maybe, like, after the Double Edge damage and maybe another Hyper Voice or, or his Double Edge into my Kangaskhan, he'll, he'll knock it out and I'll be able to get Groudon in for free, which is really what I want. But he actually makes a really crazy, weird play that I didn't even think about. I didn't even consider this. He switches in Groudon. I get in my Gravity, which is nice. And I go for the Double Edge. Okay, I'm on text. And it doesn't knock out the Palkia. It comes kind of close. And so he gets a sun-boosted flamethrower onto my Bronzong. And I was so scared because I'm like, if this thing is Life Orb, Bronzong goes down. But it's not Life Orb, and Bronzong survives because Bronzong is a beast. So now, pretty much, I know that I can I can just freely double-edge into the Palkia. He can't do a whole lot about it. I really want to put this ground on to sleep, so I'm going to Hypnosis into it, and I don't think he was expecting Hypnosis, but even if he was, it doesn't really matter, because I can clear the Palkia, you know, damage my Kangaskhan more, <laughs> and then uh, hopefully get my ground on in on the next turn. So go ahead and put him to sleep, which is nice, and I get to knock out the Palkia with my Kangaskhan. Which still, is, it surprises people. Like, oh, oh, why is your Kangaskhan so slow? Well, I'm running a Trick Room team. Like, what do you, what do you expect? Uh, how much HP do I have left? I don't even know. Probably a lot. Yeah, a decent amount. So I think here, yeah, he sends in Salamence. And... Oh, yeah, sorry. Ah, oh, crap. So the Hypnosis into Salamence is pretty obvious. But I don't really have any better option. I mean, like, I could switch in my Groudon, but I didn't want to do that. I kind of want to just, like, get as much damage on the Salamence as possible. Because I've got my Kyogre in the back, and I know if I can just get rid of the Salamence, it doesn't matter, like, what speed his uh, Groudon is. I can, I'll be able to get my Kyogre and lock the weather up, and then just, 
you know, if I take out one of his Pokemon, basically, I can lock the weather up, or it doesn't really matter. I'll be able to, I'll be able to handle his last two if I just get rid of one of them. So I, I just, in, in, in the in the event he wants to get frisky and like think, oh, he's gonna protect his Salamence. Let me double into the Groudon, and then he attacks instead of protecting. I hypnosis into the Salamence anyway. It's a very safe play, and then just uh, double edge the Groudon, mainly to get damage, but also to figure out what kind of speed it is. Because if I can figure out, if it takes the double edge really well, then I know it's, you know, it's slower and bulky, and my uh, Kyogre will outspeed it out of Trick Room, because I'm running out of Trick Room turns. And so that's what I'm doing with, and I don't, I don't want to sound, actually, oh no, I got a, I got a crit there. So that, the fact that without the crit, it would have taken like a little under half, tells me that it's a slower Groudon, which makes me believe that, you know, I will outspeed it with my max speed Kyogre, and that's what I'm going for. And... Yeah, like, I don't want to sound, like, pretentious or bragging or anything, but I I, I consider myself, like, a Trick Room specialist, really, because that's kind of what I, the, the kind of teams that I gravitate towards, and this Trick Room team here is just, like, managing Trick Room turns is a very hard thing for a lot of people to do. A lot of people want to try and play Trick Room and then don't practice it enough, because it's a lot different than just, oh, let me paralyze this, let me icy win that. Um... And, you know, you'll see that Trick Room, Trick Room teams, a lot of times, you know, win worlds. Because they're pretty good. So, here's the part where I hate Giancarlo, though. Is that he gets a double protect. This guy, this guy gets a double protect. And I'm like, oh, I'll just hypnosis into that spot. And he, wants to, and, and he wants to switch it out, whatever. It's not a big deal. But he wakes up, gets the press of his blades off. And now I'm in a bit of a predicament. Because I figured he might wake up and take out both my mons. But, and so that there, that Precipice Place actually confirms that it is, you know, a pretty slow Groudon. Because I undersped my Kangaskhan. But the fact that he got the double protect off means that I'm in a bit of a pickle now. Because if I got the Hypnosis on the on the, uh, the Salamence and both my Mons go down, whatever, it's fine. I can win this game. And, oh, that's right. No, I didn't bring Kyogre. I'm a stupid. I'm a stupid. No, um, I have... Uh, Landorus and Groudon. Wow, why did I bring Landorus to this game? I don't remember. So here, you know, he's got the double protect, so he's not gonna, he's just gonna hyper voice here. There's no reason to not hyper voice and um, for him to not hyper voice and just go for Precipice Blades or something else. I don't, actually don't know, he, he probably went for like a fire punch into Landorus to try and knock it out. So I'm thinking here, well, he got a double, he got a double protect off, so he got a little bit of luck, you know, because that's like a 33% chance. So I'm thinking, you know what? Really, my best play here is to just protect my Groudon from a possible Precipice Blades and um, Rock Slide with Landorus. Hope to damage the Salamence enough, because I think Banded Rock Slide will, will two-shot it, and I have to flinch his Groudon pretty much. I have to flinch it. Which is a 30% chance. So I've still got gravity so for this one turn, so I can't miss the rock slide. And that's this is what I go for. This is what I have to do. And I know he basically has to fire punch if he wants to, you know, knock out my uh, Landorus. But he actually goes for a substitute, which I was surprised. I mean, not too surprised, but very surprised. And of course, it breaks his substitute because it does a ton of damage. So now that rock slide is no longer a two shot. Groudon thankfully flinches, and I lose my gravity, which is not great. So here, basically the play is, I have to survive the Hyper Voice, or I have either a Hyper Voice or a Double Edge, I have, my Landers has to survive. I have to hit the Salamence with a Rock Slide. I have to, uh, I have to hit his Groudon with a Rock Slide to knock it out. And then I have to hit his Salamence with a Fire Punch, and, and pray that he has Thunderous in the back. Because he still has one more Pokemon. Goes for Hyper Voice. And wouldn't you know it, Captain Double Protect gets a critical hit on my Landorus. So, that's not great. But I do uh, knock out his Groudon. I do thankfully hit the Rock Slide out of gravity on both. And I managed to be able to uh, take out a Salamence with a Fire Punch. Which is nice. So yeah, so that's good. That's good. It's very good. And Salamence goes down. And I'm just... And at this point, he's telling me, you got it, you won. I'm like, why? And then he sends out Thunderous, I understand. He must not have an ice move. So, I just, he forfeits the match, and I win. So, yeah. Uh, Jane Carlos is a jerk.
<laughs> I'm, just, I'm kidding. But yeah, so at this point, I'm 3-0, and and I'm pretty happy. Uh, moving on to the, you know, I know if I can win two more games, I, I will top cut this and get a, you know, a good amount of points to try and get closer to my world's invite. And so, yeah, that's, that's it for today, guys. Uh, if you like it, feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And hopefully I will see you back, uh, uh, what day is it? Ugh. Tomorrow, yeah. I believe tomorrow's Friday for, uh, my round four match. And also, Giancarlo, I hate you.